be uh, now sickness. People that sick, they can't do nothing about being sick. Yeah. They can't do a thing about it. Uh, but uh, if we ain't real careful, and uh, it, you, when uh, a lot of a lot of people's out, uh, we'll let their sickness defeat us. True. Amen. That's right. You, know, you understand what I'm saying? That's right. We'll let their sickness. It's it's easy. Now, now there's a reason. Now, when you when we come in here and there's a uh, and maybe on a Sunday night and there's a lot of visitors, a lot of new faces. Seems like it's a little easier to have a real spiritual service, ain't it? And you ever notice that? Right. It gets you. It's a lot. Amen. It's because we we. I mean, you, when you get excited about being in the house of God, God bless that, and God will uh, God will give you what you want. But if you come here and you got your mind on, uh, made up that you're just gonna be here until service is over, go to the house. Then God will just give you that. Right. He'll right. just give you some some easy, amen. Something just going through the motions, and uh, it ought never be like. Or it shouldn't ever be like that in church. No. Right. We don't come here to just get through it. Right. I go. I go to work to get just to get through the work done. Right. That ain't that ain't why we're going to come to church. That's right. Right. Amen. I work for five. No. And don't get me wrong. I'm blessed. I mean, I, I like what I do for a living. I just soon be at work as be at the house. I, mean, I really mean that. God's get God's blessed me and uh, put me somewhere that I, Amen. I just I just enjoy what I do. God lets me. Now I've got to witness to a few people and and uh, to invite people to church and uh, get to try to help people and and uh, Amen. But uh, I always look forward to five o'clock. Yes. Amen. I always look forward to five o'clock. But when you get in a good meeting, I don't look forward to going to the house. No, yeah. no. Last night at revival, everybody stood around, and that's how you know you're having a good meeting when Amen. nobody's in a hurry to get home. Bless and uh, uh, brother Robert Worth was talking one day, and he said uh, uh, you can you can gauge a lot on the health of a church. When people stand around and talk a lot after meeting, yep. and uh, amen, and like uh, he's talking about, like we do here, and uh, just feels like family, don't we? That's what yeah. we are. We're family, and uh, amen. Even if even if it's your first time here, if you're saved, you're family. Amen. Right. Right. Amen. So uh, God has uh, God has been laid this on my heart today, and uh, I was uh, amen. Got to, I, I a lot of times I don't go home before I get back here tonight, but today I got to go home and. Uh, spend uh, spend uh, more time in the Word than I usually get to on the Lord's Day. And a lot of times I'm just praying as I go, as I drive, yeah. go here, go there, go to the courthouse. And, and, uh, but I've uh, been, uh, uh, been thinking on this Scripture all day in, in the book of Titus. Uh, in the book of Titus tonight, if you've got your Bibles, you pray for me, and I'll try to give you what God has laid on my heart. Uh, Titus chapter number 2, and uh, amen. We'll start reading in verse number 14. Uh, well, well, let's back up to 13. Thir thir well, let's go back to verse 11. We'll get all that. Uh, Titus chapter 2 and verse number 11. You pray for me tonight, and I'll try to give you what the Lord has given me, and that's all I know to do. Amen. Titus 2 and verse number 11. The Bible said, For the grace of God that bringeth salvation hath appeared unto all men, teaching us and denying ungodliness, and worldly lusts, we should live soberly, righteously, and godly in this present world, looking for that blessed hope and the glorious appearing of the great God and our Savior, Jesus Christ, who gave Himself for us, that He might redeem us from all iniquity. Yeah. That's glad He did that. Yeah. And purify unto Himself a peculiar people, zealous of good works. That's all that I'm going to read tonight. Dear Heavenly Father, we thank you, Lord, for our Lord allowed us to be gathered together again. Our Lord, here in the house of God. Our Lord, I know, God, that maybe tonight, our Lord, that our worlds are getting more and more. Our God, just conforming to the world. And a lot of our churches are. And God, I, I, Lord, I pray tonight that you'd help me. Our Lord, to ever stand. Our Lord, on the truth of God. I to ever stand on, I Lord, this Bible, Lord, and yeah. I God not to not cut anything out, and oh. I Lord, but to stand and give at the whole counsel of God. Oh, and for Lord, I know that one day I'm given account for all. I got every message that I've ever preached, and God, I Lord, I pray tonight that you speak to every heart. And that's in this building tonight, Lord. And give us what we need. In Jesus' name we pray. 
and amen. And and the Bible said in verse number 14, and that God wanted to purify and the himself a peculiar amen people. And I want to preach tonight on a peculiar people. And now the Bible said and that God gave himself for us. Amen. And we all know that. And every preacher from here, I brother to the coast over in California, I preaches that Jesus had died for all men. Yeah. That ain't a preacher I know. That don't preach that. Amen. But it seems like today, amen, that it's falling out of style. Yeah. I preach that the people of God. My brother are a peculiar people. Yeah. And now, friend, today, how you'll read down through the Bible. And friend, God's people have always been peculiar. Yeah. They never fit in yeah. with the world the crowd. Right. They never, my brother, went along to get along. That's the way a lot are now. Yeah. And they just go along. Come on. 
because you're a mighty people. I didn't choose you. And because you're a great nation. And because you're great in number. He said, but I chose you. And because of my mercy. Yes, and because right. that I loved you. Yeah. And the friend all throughout time. And the Jews. And the oh, Hebrews. Man. And they've been ridiculed. Right. I go to the same bag. Amen. The whole Noah. Yeah. And the Bible said. And that Noah was a preacher of righteousness. Yeah. And brother he. Amen. He preached the same thing. I believe old Noah. I was preaching the same thing. Yeah. And the Lord being a God are today. Yeah. He said, been called my God. Yes, He's a preacher. Get out of the world. Yeah. But for judgment's coming. Yeah. I get out of the world. Yeah. After the times will occur. Yeah. Amen. When Paul, amen. He said, water. I belong now. We're preaching. Yeah. And the far yeah. is going to fall. Well, here it comes. We don't scratch lottery tickets. 
Amen. We just don't do what they do. We don't go to the casino. Amen. All our young girls don't look like that. Hey Amen. The young girls and the rest of the rest of them that go to public school. Hey Amen. Our young boys. Now they don't go to the same places. Hey Amen. Uh, that the rest of them do. Hey Amen. I'm telling you, friend. Hey, if we don't instill in them that right. there's a right way and a wrong way, yeah. while they're young, and the Catholics say, I give me a young and when they're five year old, and they say, we'll instill it in them, and you'll never get out of them. And brother, they're, they're so wrong in what they believe, and yet they got a zeal to train up their children. Yeah. 
at you. And when they say you're I'm just a little bit strange. I'd rather buy fit in with the worldly crowd. I'd be worried about where I stood. Amen. 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 It's always fun. It's always fun. That's all it is. Amen. But Jacob didn't fit in. And Isaac didn't fit in. And Abraham didn't fit in. And Noah didn't fit in. Amen. So when you don't fit in. Come on, brother. I wish I could tell real people tonight. That it ain't all about fitting in. It ain't all about having popularity in school. Amen. I was always backwards in school. Amen. I guess. Amen. I, I was preaching a funeral one time. And, amen. Somebody told me. They said if I if somebody told me that you get up there and preach like that, I would have been in high school. I'd have never believed it. And brother, I don't believe it now. Amen. But something happened to me. I'm just preaching. I do. It's foolishness yeah. to the world the ground. Yeah. I'm peculiar. Amen. That old song said. Amen. That some people that call me noisy. And they say I belong to a noisy crew. I shout when I get happy. That's just what I wish I could. It's peculiar to the world. But it's all right. Yeah. In the house of God. Amen. Amen. The world ain't going to love you. Yeah, we know. The world ain't going to love you, man. They're going to say, why ain't you out here drinking? Why ain't you out here partying? Why ain't you out here doing this and that? Amen. Amen. They're drinking up to theirs. Amen. But I'm a bottle of mine up. Amen. I'm drinking from the fountain. Amen. I left my bucket here and all at the well one day. And they came to the rob in my belly. I'm going to give a boy a red. Glory, hallelujah. Hey! I feel something from up yonder. Hey! I've been hooking up with something. I'm down in my soul. I'm in rivers. I'm living waters. I'm beginning to flow out of my belly. Yeah. Hallelujah. If I'm crazy, let me be crazy. I'm high with the Lord. Amen. Amen. The way you preach it. It's just too straight. I've been told that. Amen. The way, the way you think of people ought to live, I ain't going to preach you nothing. I ain't going to, I won't live by myself. Amen. I ain't going to preach you nothing. Amen. I ain't going to preach you nothing in this Bible. Amen. If this Bible says it, Amen. That's all I can do is preach it. Amen. Amen. I ain't got nothing else to give you. Amen. Except for the Bible. I'm a friend you ain't going to be well thought of. And you ain't going to be. And you'll never have your name in life. If you're living for God. Amen. Amen. But there's a name. And there's a book. Where your name's recorded. Amen. Jesus said. I'm going to rejoice. And short to the devils. i subject unto you. And the rejoice.
Bible said, amen, time went on. You know, Joseph, he's a little bit peculiar, wasn't he? Yeah. I'm about done. Yeah. Oh, Joseph was a little bit peculiar. Amen. Daddy made him that coat. Amen. He didn't fit in with the rest of them. His brothers hated him. He had the dream of the twelve stars, of the eleven stars, the sun, the moon. And they said, do you think of me and your mommy? That's what Jacob said. Do you think of me and your mommy? It's going to bow down to you. But he went on. And he got sold into Egypt. And while he's down there in Egypt, they found out, Brother Danny, that this man was a little bit strange. Amen. Because when there was a woman, and any of them Egyptians, you know what they'd done when Potiphar's wife grabbed hold of him? Yeah. Well, they did this, you know what they'd done. Yeah. Amen. But there, that man was a man that was a little bit strange. And the Bible said and that she grabbed a hold of his coat. Amen. And that she grabbed a hold of his coat and said, All right, now play with me. Now my husband's home. He said, I can't do that. He's been so good to me. He's given me, he's given me a job. He's let me work here. And I've been his servant. And she said, Lay with me. And nobody will ever find out. I wonder how many preachers have fell into that trap. She yeah. said, she screamed. Yes, yeah, she did. Yeah. Somebody help me. Yeah. Come on, man. Then they run in there. Look what this Hebrew did. Amen. Look what this Hebrew did to me. Yeah. Tried to come in here and force himself on me. So Joseph got put down to jail. Amen. Yeah. Hey, I, I guarantee you, he went down there complaining. Oh, hey, Amen. Oh, now Jesus is a little bit odd. He wasn't one of them. He wasn't one like one of them. Said, oh, hey, man, I'm hurting. I'm in bad shape. God's dealt me a bad hand. My brother, God's been good to you. If you're above ground, it don't matter what you're going through. Yeah. 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 Amen. Yeah. We're a little bit strange. Yeah. <coughs> we cry when we get happy. <coughs> Amen. Yeah. I love Amen. I used to. Amen. I guess it's a sign of weakness for a man to cry to say. But I love when that good Holy Ghost comes and I feel them strings. They're running down my cheeks. Amen. It's all the most Amen. Say what you want to. Amen. I know the difference. I used to be out there in the world. Amen. I knew what the emotional I mess was. I country music make you cry. Amen. A sad movie it make you cry. I know this is how I've done now. Yeah. 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 It's the hurt. Sing it down. There's something from up yonder. Yeah. Hallelujah. And it longs to go home. I threw a man. I where I'm no longer. Be peculiar. Yeah. Yeah. Amen. We're leaving here one day. Praise the Lord. We're leaving here one day. Amen. Here we are. Somebody said, I just don't see nothing wrong with. See, now we're peculiar. Come on, man. I don't see nothing wrong with getting out your shirt off. Well, where are you here then? Come in here like that. Get up here and sing like that. Get up here and sing like that. Amen. If I ain't nothing wrong with it, then just come in here like that. But we're peculiar. We don't do what the world does. We don't do what the world does. Amen. Oh, Joseph didn't do what the world did. But he said, I'm going to retain my integrity. And y'all know the story. God gave him dreams. Amen. And by his, by his dream, amen, by what God did for him, he was able to restore all of his family. And build them food, amen, in the crowd. But you go on and you go on. And there's the sin that have to descend. I think there's a man. I'm trying to close the night. I there's a man. I by the name of Moses. And that man I was a little bit odd. But the Bible said that he was meek above all the men that were on the earth. And God used that man to lay his own. My brother had a captivity. He said, Pharaoh. People go. He was a man. Amen. He was afraid. Yes, he was. But there was something on him. He's a little 
and he led them out. And God was with Moses. And Moses, the time come for Moses to die. And he appointed Joshua. And Joshua got down. I can just see him now. Everywhere Israel went. Everywhere Israel went. God brought a victory by him. Few in number against big in number. And God brought a victory by him. But while they were down there in Egypt, they began to get mighty in number. And Pharaoh said, I want all of them little boys killed. Yeah. Amen. But here's what the Egyptian went with I said. Them women ain't like all of them. Yeah. Amen. You know what's different? Amen. All women ain't like their women. Yeah. All men ain't like their men. Amen. But they said they're lively women. Amen. You know what the difference is between the peculiar and the church trail? We've got something here that makes us alive. God brought them out there. And then Joshua began to lead them. And they come down to Jordan. And the, the priest got down in the water. It's a little bit strange right here. And the waters stood up on the heap. Yes. And Kim, they walked through. I'm driving. That's right. Amen. 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 And then Joshua said, when you get down in there, pick you up 12 songs. One yeah. for each tribe. Right. Yeah. Amen. Make you a memorial when we get out there. Right. And they got out there and he sent spies over in the land of Jericho. Yeah. Amen. There was a harlot there that by the name of Rahab. Yeah. And she said, Men, when you come in, amen, to take over this city, I would just spare my family. I guess most nations they'd have said, I know we can't do that. It's up to our king. But this group is bunch. There's a little peculiar. And then, brother, and they bring back the report. And Joshua said, Boys, I tell you what we're going to do. I get you 12 horns and go out in front of the ark and march around that city. Amen. For six days. Amen. One time a day. I don't speak no words. Amen. The Bible said that on the first day, and they march around. Yeah. On the second day, and they march around. On the third day, and they march around. On the fourth day, on the fifth day, on the sixth day, and Joshua said, on the seventh day, I march seven times. Yeah. And when I give you the command, I shout and blow the trumpet. There's just a little peculiar. Amen. I can just see him up there in Jericho. Looking down off the wall. Yeah. What in the world's them Hebrews doing? I wonder if they ever think that about you. Oh, yeah. yeah. What in the world's them people doing up there in the courthouse steps? Uh, yeah. What good do they think they're doing? Uh, what good do they think they're doing? Well, that's what they probably said about Israel, about, Israel, about the Hebrews. They're walking around the first day, and they're just sitting up there on the wall. I guess there's a life in that. Yeah, I'm that. Yeah. Amen. They like probably, let's come over here and look at this. What in the world do they think they're doing? Yeah, they're just out there walking around in circles. That little old bunch right there, what do they think they're going to, they they're going to do? Climb over the walls? They weren't going to make them climb nothing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Amen. Yeah. Maybe on the second day, they've got a few more buddies out there. And they're looking out there and saying, look at them Hebrews. What in the world do they think they're doing? And they're snickering, and they're laughing. And on the third day, I wonder if there's a few more. And by the second day, I wonder what crowd was out there to gaze Amen. at the Hebrews. A lot of people's lost their shout because they don't like to be gazed upon. A lot of people's lost their, their worship because they don't like to be stared at. But you ain't gonna fit in with the world, honey. It, it don't matter what the world thinks, it's what God knows about. You better give him praise and glory. Amen and honor. Amen. There was a day when the young women and the young men and they desired the power. And all they desire is a billboard full of money and Hollywood and nice spirit. Amen. So we're 
peculiar. We're peculiar. Amen. Amen. You know what the devil, you know what the devil tell you? If you don't put in the offering plate, think how much, much more money you can have. Right. But you can't out give God. That's right. That's right. And here they are marching around. And I wonder, now the Bible don't say this, but I can just picture in my mind that there's a whole multitude out there on them walls laughing at them, Brother Al. Just mocking them and making fun of them. And saying they marched around six days this far. Now's the seventh. And what in the world are they doing? Well, but they didn't know that Mary grew through the God that formed the earth. Amen. I'm glad I know the God right. that formed the earth in six days. Yeah. And then old Joshua said, All right, boys, go ahead. And the Bible said they shouted. And the Bible said that they I blew them ram's horns and the walls of Jericho. And they fell down. Yeah. And they slapped it, and they looked at it, and made fun of it. On that day, all them from Jericho, they seen the power of God. I can laugh at you now. I'm a hold on. I keep living for God. And one day, they'll see the power all over you. Amen. That's what it is. Amen. They laugh at you. They make fun of you. But they cannot deny that power. That's right. That's right. That's when it comes down. That's Peculiar people. That's what we are. That's what we are. Amen. Amen. That's what. That's why. That's why the world wants rid of you. Yeah. Amen. Most churches they don't like a church that has standards. Right. Most pastors don't like somebody to preach on sin. That's right. right. Amen. Yeah, that's right. Most, most they don't care if you preach on sin as long as they don't pay. Right. Because right. right. all that does is make people mad. Yeah. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. But when something starts to draw on their people mm-hmm. because they ain't getting, Amen. You know, I talked about them preachers that all they do is sit in front of the television on the Lord's Day. Ain't no wonder the flock's drowned up and starving. Right. 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 Ain't no wonder. Right. Right. Amen. If I get up here and preach in the power, amen. If I, get, if I get up here and preach and you ain't getting nothing out of it, they'll say there's something wrong with you. Amen. amen. I'm, not talking, I'm not talking about everything. Every now and then, it's just Lord, you may have a dry day. And That's I may right. get up here and be dry. I'm a service after service. And everybody's getting fed. And you ain't getting fed. It may be you that needs to move up and say, God, give me the money. Amen. Amen. I get up here and preach and ain't nobody getting fed. Drop the doctor needs to get the book. That's right. Amen. Amen. I can spend my time out there in the world. I can spend my time trying to do this and trying to do that. But we're peculiar. We, Amen. My treasures. <laughs> My treasures. I know I told you I was closing a long time ago. My treasures. They're not down here. My treasures ain't down here. Amen. My treasures ain't in this right here. My treasures ain't in my bank account. Amen. Tomorrow, if the whatever ain't the FDIC, whatever's over the credit unions. Amen. If it, if it was to fall apart and everything crashed, I lost my money. Amen. Amen. Nobody could get what I got up there. Amen. <laughs> Come on, man. That's right. Amen. Come on, man. I got a whole lot to my name. I lost it all. Amen. Amen. If I lost it all, amen. What about up there? I ain't got a whole lot to my name. I got a whole lot to my name. Come on now. Amen. Amen. I brought the inheritance under the Bible, Mike. Amen. The thing, the thing can't get it. God can't get it. Just take it. We're going to be glad. Amen. And we're some peculiar ones. Amen. All them times I laughed, 
I'm with my young and I went a couple weeks ago. It ain't, it ain't, it ain't only bad enough that they have all these dances and stuff after school. But it was a couple Fridays ago and he said, you think there's any way you could take off work early and come pick me up? And I said, why is that? He said, after lunch, they're having a Halloween dance. And he said, if I don't go to it, all I'm going to do is I'm going to sit in the room and do work. And I couldn't, I couldn't, I, I wasn't going to take off work. And, and so I, I called my uncle and I said, you, I mean, I, I said, Brady's going to leave today. You think you're going to get him? And he couldn't go get him. So after school, I said, how did everything go? He said, I just sit in the library by myself all day and got on the computer. Hey, man, that's, a, that's, that's hey, man, I can't imagine having, having, having a, I mean, peer pressure all over you. Oh, it's hard for a young man, ain't it? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> it one day, one day, I'm glad now, but one day, I'm going to be Come on, talking man. about joy. Yeah. <laughs> You talk about joy when all the peculiar ones yeah. <laughs> for the every nation under the hand of the sun. <laughs> Amen. And all the peculiar ones that's been buried in the grave are going to hear his voice. There's time of the day. Well, I still get them all the time. There's time of the day. Some is going to come forth after the resurrection of life. And some after the resurrection of damnation. And on that day, we'll be glad we're peculiar. Amen. 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 Come on, Mark Hogan's riding from somewhere with somebody the other day. And he scared him to death. I was going to have him, Lord. I like to go out long, but not an hour. We don't sit out long. Say, preacher, I wouldn't act like that. I just wouldn't act. Well, that might be why people don't get blessed. Right. right. That's right. They won't act. They won't. They won't lose their dignity. Yeah. yeah. I've been. I've been in stores where I just feel God say. Amen. Amen. That's right. Oh, hallelujah. Right. And I'd be lying to you if I didn't find it. I think I'm going to wait till ain't nobody down this aisle. <laughs> Amen. But God don't want you to have no pride. That's right. That's right. When I was working up in Appalachia, amen, I, was, I had something on my mind. Amen. Had a coffee machine in there. I think I told this before, maybe. Some of you heard it. But I went in there and Hey man, I got down and had a little kitchen in there. I went in there to get some coffee and while I was in there. Wasn't nobody in there but me and the Lord, I thought. And I thought, I'll just get down here and pray. Ain't nobody around. When I looked up, the owner of the pharmacy was trying to look at me. And he just turned around and walked out. Hey man, yeah, yeah. It's all right to be peculiar. Yeah. It's all right to be peculiar. Yeah. It's all right to not fit in. Amen. Hey man, it's all right for your grandchildren, your young, and your family, and you to not fit in. And for peculiar people, one day they're the ones. Who you think was the ones following the Lord around? Yeah. Is them ones that nobody wants nothing to do with? Yeah. Is them ones that? Hey man, when the Pharisees looked at him, they said, no, "I don't know about that. He's a little bit off. He's just a little bit off." I'd rather be a little bit off. Yeah. <laughs> Amen. Right. Have my name rolled up, y'all. Yeah. Ain't you glad to be peculiar? Yeah. Yeah. Amen. Maybe you tonight, you've been struggling. Maybe the devil's been telling you, you ain't gonna live the way you live, ain't gonna dress the way you dress, ain't gonna talk the way you talk, and it ain't gonna pay, ain't gonna, ain't, ain't gonna abstain from the things you abstain from. Oh, yeah. Never been telling you that. It's all right. God told me to tell you it's all right to be peculiar. Amen. For the peculiar people one day, who's going to see the Lord? Them that's got clean hands. Them that's got clean heart, a pure heart. 
I want to see the Lord, don't you? Yeah. I've been blessed to travel and see things in my life. I have been blessed to been blessed to see other states and amen, see other places. Amen. Amen. But amen, if there's one thing that I want to see. There's one thing I, Amen. I ain't hardly nothing to me. I've been I've been I've been an airplane and Look down and seen, seen, seen the Rocky Mountains and look, I mean, just pretty as they can be. But one day my eyes are going to behold something. Only the peculiar ones. That's right. That's right. That's right. That's right. Only the peculiar ones are going to see his face. And one day I'm going to see him. Amen. Are you going to know him? I shall know my Redeemer. Yeah. Come on, man. Yeah. Come on, man. I'm going to know him. When I look upon his face, right. you tell, oh, oh, Peter, brother, Fern, John, they knew who Elijah, they knew who Elijah was, knew who Moses was, and buddy, you better believe I'm going to know my Savior. Yeah. Come on now, bro. Amen. Let him mock you. Let them laugh at you. Yeah. Hey Amen. Right. For everyone that mocks you, you're going to have a few. You're going to have a lot to mock you, but to lot, God will put somebody in your life. I'm trying to close. I tried to close 30 minutes ago. Yes, Come on. Come on. Come on. Hey Amen. Hey, Come on. I remember being young, young preacher. I guess I, was, I think I was preaching then. Yeah, maybe a year or more at the most. And I was coming home from pharmacy school and I stopped up there at KFC 11. <coughs> And I was, I, was, I was in there eating, and I believe I was going to a revival somewhere. And I was just going to get, and I wasn't preaching in it, but I was just going to go. And, and I was over there, and I bowed my head over my food, and I prayed. And that ain't nothing in me. Everybody, everybody does that, don't they? Yeah. Don't all the peculiar ones do that? Yeah. Yeah. You don't try to be ashamed of yourself. Right. Amen. Right. Yeah. Hey, pray. Amen. Some people all along the time they do it, it's time to get to death. Yes. Yes. That's true. Right. Amen. That's you ain't going to do it at McDonald's. Don't do it on Thanksgiving. That's right. yeah. Just be a heathen. Be what you are. Right. Amen. Don't claim to be something you ain't. Either be peculiar or be like the world. Amen. 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 And God will send some encouragement to a way. A lady came over and she said, I didn't know nobody sent me. And she said, I don't see much of that anymore. Wow. People's watching you. That's right. Amen. Amen. That's and they gonna know whether you're worldly. That's right. You wanna know whether you wanna know how you don't wanna know you wanna know where this church is at in growth. It ain't the number on the board. Right. It's how it's how holy, how peculiar the ones that come here all the time. That's right. Amen. Come on. Amen. Now you can't you can't judge the church by them that's wishy washy. Right. I'm talking about them that come here all the time, Amen. And claim to be claim to be Christians, world would be peculiar. That's right. Yeah. Amen. Come when on, you man. when you hit you when you hit you hit your finger with a hammer, you don't fly off and cuss. That's right. Amen. That's right. When you get when you get in an argument with your family, you don't cuss them out. Right. Amen. Come on. Pray, pray for them to hate you. Pray for them to despise and use you. Yeah. Yeah. Amen. That's what we're called to do. That's right. Because we are peculiar. Yes, Amen. Amen. Bless Anybody need to pray tonight? Maybe you're discouraged. Maybe tonight you're, Amen. You're, you I mean, you just don't know. And the devil tells you all the time. You just, Amen. The devil tries to show you an easier way. I'm gonna be on.